Okay. So now that we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and start coding. So to begin, we're going to go ahead and click on the yellow events tab, add when green flag is clicked, and we're going to go to the variable tab and check to see if we're able to play our game. So we're going to set game over to one. Then I'm going to go into events and I'm going to broadcast home. And the last thing I'm going to do is inside of looks, I'm going to add a show. After that, right underneath, I'm going to click on the yellow events tab and I'm going to add a when I receive be gone. I'm going to go into control and repeat 10. I'm going to go into looks and I'm going to change ghost effect by 10. And I'm also going to change size by 10 as well. I'm going to go into variables and I'm going to set game over to zero. And then I'm going to go back into events and I'm going to broadcast play. After that, I'm going to add a when I receive game over and I'm going to broadcast home. So the last thing that we need to do is going to be a quick little animation for our actual title screen that we have. Uh, so we're going to do this really quickly. Uh, but before we do that, uh, as you can see, when I click on my green flag, I can see my different buttons. If you, for whatever reason, can't see your actual play button, that's only because when you leave the costume area, just make sure you have your play button already selected. When you click on code, just to make sure that that option shows up. When For those of you who are the twice a week students, when you click on the I, you can already see uh, your how to play. Uh, info section. Uh, if you need it to be smaller, like I said, you can play around with this set size. So maybe do this at 100 and try that again. That might be a little bit too small, but you kind of get the idea that now that you kind of have that, you can go ahead and play around with it. Okay, until you're happy. Uh, then you can see when you click on the green flag you can pretty much start checking everything out and testing everything that you need for your game to make sure everything fits and works okay uh and if you need to change the size like i said all you have to do is just go back to the different sprites look for the set size that we have play around with it and keep going back and forth until you're happy with the size that it has you just have to make sure that everything fits inside of the actual grid and you'll be pretty much all set. Uh, aside from that, like I said, the title screen is going to have a little bit of an animation. So we're just going to go ahead and finish that code. So if you want to, you can go ahead and first wait until you finish this. And then afterwards, you can go ahead and go through everything and go ahead and adjust any size that you might need. So to do the quick little animation, we're going to go into the yellow events tab. And we're going to add when I receive home. After that, we're going to go into looks. We're going to clear graphic effects. And then we're going to show. We're going to go into variables and we're going to set our, our turn. Seems like for me, I don't have it. Uh, if you guys also do not have this in your project, then what you'll need to do is click on make a variable. We're going to do this for this sprite only, and we're going to call this turn and click OK. You can check this off because we do not need this on. And then you can go ahead and click on turn. 
So we're going to set our turn to zero. Uh, since this is going to control our turning speed, we're going to then go into the blue motions tab and add a point in direction 90. We're going to go into looks and set our size to 100%. And then we're going to go inside the blue motions tab and add a go to X and Y. For right now, I'm going to go ahead and make X negative 65 and our Y 90. Uh, but later on, you guys can always come back and adjust this a little bit if you need the title to show up somewhere else. So underneath this, we're going to go into control and add a forever. And then we're going to go ahead and now change our turn by two. And you can play around with this number uh, to make the turn either slow or fast uh, for the speed. We're going to now go into the blue motions tab and we're going to turn right 15 degrees. We're going to go into operators. We're going to divide. And on the left hand side, we're going to use this abs of. We're going to change abs to cos, and the empty bubble next to the of, we're going to go into the variable and use the turn bubble. And then this division symbol, we're going to go ahead and make it into a five. Then we're going to go inside of our blue motions tab, and we're going to add a change y by. We're going to go ahead and use the subtraction symbol. So we're going to go into operators, use the subtraction symbol. On the right hand side, we're going to use abs of again. And on the empty bubble, we're going to be using our multiplication symbol. So once we have that, on the multiplication symbol on the left hand side, we're going to go into the variables tab and use the turn bubble. On the right hand side, we're going to make this bubble a two. And then on the subtraction side, on the left hand side, we're going to go ahead and make this a zero. And the abs, we're going to go ahead and change it to sign. Underneath that, we're going to go into control and we're going to use an if then else. So if our mouse pointer, so go into sensing and use touching mouse pointer. We're going to go ahead and change its size. So we're going to go into looks. We're going to add a change size by. We're going to go into operators and first use our multiplication symbol. And then on the left hand side, we're going to we're going to use our subtraction symbol. And then starting with the very first bubble on the left hand side, we're going to change this to 330. The middle bubble, we're going to go into looks and scroll all the way towards the bottom and add the size bubble. And then on the very last bubble, we're going to make the 0 0.2. We're going to go ahead and duplicate this, add this to the else. And then we're going to go ahead and change the first bubble on the, all the way on the left hand side to 300. Uh, and that should be good. So if I stop and click on my green flag, this might be a little bit too high. So if this happens, uh, you guys have two options. Like I said, you can use the go to X and Y to change it, or you can go into costumes. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit, use my selection tool, select the entire thing, and then move it down. So the size of it might be a little bit too big too. So I'm going to go ahead and change this as well to 50. Uh, maybe 30. Try. Okay. I change the size to 10. Probably change this to, so I'll do 200 and I'll do 230. 
that makes it a little bit better. So I'll probably change this maybe to 130 and then this one to 100. There we go. So that looks much better. Okay. And like I said, you can always go back into costumes, select everything, and then move it over uh, to wherever you want the actual title to be. So probably around here I'll be happy with. Uh, and then once you're done, like I said, go ahead and test out your full game. Make sure that everything is working. Make sure that all your sizes are the same. Make sure that all your costumes are correct. Uh, and then once you're done, we're going to go ahead and do the last step for our week three core, which is going to be focusing on our score.